Get ready for the strike of the century because Cobra Kai is here to kick you out of your slumber with season four. This hit Netflix series shows no sign of stopping when it comes to the crazy story that keeps getting better. With season four currently filming, news arrives daily of the total shockers that will rock the Cobra Kai world for months to come. When Cobra Kai burst onto the scene, the world was shocked by its stellar cast performance, strong storytelling, and nail-biting cliffhangers. I thought you were dead. Its success saw it move from its former home, YouTube Red, to the mega streaming giant Netflix, where it has enjoyed over 80 million worldwide streams. That's a big fan base. Season 4 is determined to flip the script again, with all new cast members, new rivalries, and new alliances. Which dojo will come out on top at the All Valley Karate Tournament? Which sensei will gain new students? Get the hell out of here, loser. <laughs> We're tackling all that and more in this video, so strap in. Want in on all of Season 4's soon-to-be-revealed secrets? Then make sure you subscribe and don't forget to karate kick that like button to show your loyalty to the dojo of your choice. Now let's get to the good stuff. Cobra Kai's Journey Season 3 Recap Season 3 starts with the aftermath of the gigantic 11-minute high school brawl for the ages. This one was pretty rough. Miguel was gravely injured, and even fan-favorite Alicia left the school after the fight. Danny and Johnny finally had to put their differences aside to find Robbie, who'd run away after the big fight. Sam and Miguel started rekindling their romance and rallied their friends, convincing them to call a peace truce between the Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai dojos. But that really turns out bad. Cobra Kai was having none of it, and they were ambushed by Cobra Kai diehards at the LaRusso's house. Heard you were throwing a party. Hope you don't mind if we crash. There we saw Tori launch into her fight club mode in an epic fight off with arch nemesis Sam. Things got pretty ugly, suffice it to say. This led to a down and dirty mud slinging match between Kreese and Johnny, where Daniel ended up saving Johnny's life. The three rivals decided to cool off until the All Valley Championships, where they could duke out their differences and make a deal that whoever loses has to hightail it out of the valley for good. But Kreese isn't the most honorable man. You should never turn your back on a cobra. Daniel and Johnny will soon figure this out. Hawk finally saw the light after a brutal mean streak that involved breaking his former friend Dimitri's arm. Daniel also took a trip to Japan to learn more about his late sensei, Mr. Miyagi. There, he reconnected with a former love flame and found peace with his former enemy, Chosen. You seem to always have all the answers, and I guess I thought when I got older I'd have it all figured out too. Daniel and Johnny decided to tie their two dojos together to get rid of Kreese once and for all, and we also saw Johnny rekindle things with Ali. Unfortunately, Robbie ended up following the snake-like Kreese. We also saw Tori fall further in line with Kreese's philosophies as he poisons her. She seems to have taken him on as a father figure. John Kreese brought out the big guns by the end of the season. He's bringing in an old buddy of his. He calls in a favor from Twig, aka Silver. So we're having more than just one villain in season four. Terry Silver just might join the Karate Kid saga. He and Kreese go way back, since Karate Kid 3. Silver is his army bestie and a central pillar to the Cobra Kai dojo. Looks like it'll be a four on four match in season four. What's coming in season four? Here's what we found out. Number 1. New Characters Confirmed Hold on to your steering wheels because we're diving headfirst into some serious news. If you thought the Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang dojos needed some fresh faces, then you're right on track. Netflix has just confirmed that Cobra Kai Season 4 will be taking on Dallas Dupree Young and Una O'Brien as recurring roles. We've even got their characters down. According to Variety, Young will play Kenny, a bullied, down-and-out kid, much like Miguel and Hawk. He'll be trying out karate in an attempt to learn self-defense and ward off his tormentors. He is the cutest thing! O'Brien's character is a little different from the rest. Enter Devon. The character is described as a potential karate student who is both studious and competitive, but she also possesses a pretty quick temper. Sounds like she might be a perfect candidate for the Eagle Fang Dojo. By best belief, John Kreese will be trying to get his hands on her. He's turning all his dials up to 11 for this new tournament. Number 2. Familiar Faces Returning If you're a long-term Cobra Kai and Karate Kid fan, then you know that many stars from the earlier 1980s films have made appearances and cameos in the new Cobra Kai series. We've seen the return of John Kreese and Chosen, two of Daniel Russo's enemies from Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3. When Season 3 ended, we saw a clearly outnumbered Kreese calling for backup. Can't keep up this defense on me shit forever. Good thing I don't have to. 
who did he contact? None other than Terry Silver. This slimy villain tormented Mr. Miyagi and Daniel-san a long time ago, and it seems he's back. But that's not the only rival rumored to be returning. Recently, actor Sean Kanon hinted at a possible return to the franchise. If you're not sure who that is, he played Mike Barnes in The Karate Kid 3. He was the tormenting bully and antagonist who often worked on behalf of John Kreese and the Cobra Kai Dojo remnants. When it came to karate, Mike Barnes was no joke. He was super scary and almost ended Daniel's karate career on numerous occasions. Speaking to Fan Room Live, actor Sean said he might very well return to the franchise. He said, I've spoken to the producers multiple times, so all I can say is that we saw a little clip of Mike Barnes in season 3, and if I had to say, I don't think that we've seen the last of him. We shall see. Sounds pretty ominous. Barnes might return a changed man like Chosen, but with Crease and Silver in the mix, we bet he's coming back to stir up some trouble for his former enemy Daniel. You came after my daughter, you wanted her to fight you, son of a bitch. Now you got one! Then there's fan favorites who we know have made a comeback. We're definitely going to see our merry band of brawlers Miguel, Chulo Moraduena, Robbie, Tanner Buchanan, Hawk. Jacob Bertrand, and Samantha, Mary Mouser, around. In interviews, the creators have also suggested that Nicole Brown's Aisha, whose absence in Season 3 really upset her legions of fans, could potentially return at some point. No one's ever written out of our show, co-creator Josh Held told Entertainment Weekly. Number 3. Roads to Redemption some of our characters have a long road to redemption. Perhaps the biggest mess to clean up goes to Eli Moskowitz, aka Hawk. He might have started season one out as a strong fighter who flipped the script on us, but he ended it as a crazed bully out for revenge. Eli just went back to the good side, but it doesn't mean he's going to stay there. It also doesn't mean the road will be easy. He did a lot of damage, including tearing up the LaRusso home, breaking Moon's heart, and breaking his former buddy Dimitri's arm. Do you want to help me win this thing? Yeah. We've got to expect that the road to recovery won't be easy, and a lot of engines might be coming his way. Poor Hawk. Cleaning up is a whole lot harder than making a mess. Number 4. Production Changes With all of the hype around Cobra Kai Season 4 coming, we seem to forget one very important detail. Netflix is now officially involved. Though the streaming site has been airing Cobra Kai Season 1-3 to 3 on their platform, they didn't have any involvement with the production. It was a YouTube Red project. Season 3 was even filmed through the YouTube Red platform, and it garnered high praise. But with Season 4 having a whole new executive production team in terms of the streaming service, there could be a new feel to the show. Netflix has been known to get directly involved with storylines and casting as well as plot lines. Could this be the case with the golden child of karate? Could we see some new changes and different angles in the new season? Name that elicits power and dominance. Cobras are strong. Some fans have speculated that Netflix might get a little too involved in the originally told story of the LaRussos and the Lawrences. We hope that nothing ruins the continuous magic that has been Cobra Kai. Well, there you have it, a little adrenaline-filled information to get your Cobra Kai fix. We are counting down the day until the season is released. With talks from writers predicting the air date in January of 2022, we've still got a long way to go and a lot of content to cover. Make sure you're here for the dish by subscribing to our channel. Switch on your notifications to get up-to-date information from the world of film and television. See you in the next one.